Uh, booksellers around the world have united in protest over Abe Books' decision to withdraw from certain countries, including South Korea and Russia. Well, the second-hand book marketplace, a part of Amazon, allows customers to sell and purchase books around the world. Well, those booksellers have joined together in taking what they call a vacation uh, from Abe Books, I suppose a boycott, really. The protest was proposed by antiquarian bookseller Simon Beatty, who's here in the studio. Simon, welcome to you. Hello. Um, just for, for the avoidance of, uh, of doubt for people who haven't used Abe Books, how, how does it work? How has it worked for you before now? Um, as a bookseller, I can um, upload my books to Abe and, um, and then other people around the world can look at those books and then place an order through Abe Books. Okay. Um, so that's so it's quite a cheap way of shifting volumes. Yes, it books. is, and it's and it's a huge market. I mean, it is the sort of major online um, forum for us to to list our books and for for the widest possible public. Yeah, and it means that somebody in a country like Korea, or for, for example, can can buy a book from you. Yes, um, because you're offering the best price or the best quality of yes. a book that they, they want. Or indeed a, a bookseller in Prague can find a customer in America who's mm. looking for a mm. copy of that book they couldn't find anywhere else. And this is, in terms of the, sort of the way the economics of the thing works, this is vital, isn't it? Because, you know, a book that's of zero interest to the entire population of one country may be of enormous yeah, of interest Absol to another, Absol so you can Absol actually drive yeah. up the price. Yeah. Yeah. So, you, so, you, so booksellers win in that, yeah. in that respect. So what have they books done wrong, in your opinion? Well, uh, they decided in a, well they announced should I say in a slightly high-handed way um, that they're in a position to do that aren't they well also? yes and and um, that certain countries were no longer to be supported or at least booksellers in those countries were no longer to be supported um, which was the Czech Republic Hungary Poland Russia and South Korea and um, uh, last week the Antiquarian Booksellers Association here in the UK um, decided um, to um, withdraw the sponsorship that they had before from A Books for their annual London Book Fair. Mm. And following that, I said last Thursday, sent out an email to colleagues around the world saying, well, I'm going to take my books off A Books um, out of solidarity for booksellers in um, the affected countries. And it just went from there. And what kind of response have you had? Uh, well, it's, it's been it's amazing. Okay. Um, we, within... 48 hours, you know, hundreds of booksellers around the world um, had taken their books off. Hey, books. Um, I think we'd got up to five, over 550 booksellers from over 25 countries had taken their books off, totaling, I mean, over 3 million books or something. I mean, it's just an extraordinary um, reaction. A sufficient reaction to make A Books think again? Absolutely. So yesterday there was a meeting um, between A Books and the International League of Antiquarian Booksellers and a books i mean hats off to them they came in the, or they came to the table full of contrition and they said and they went back and said our decision was wrong and we will go back on that and so now those booksellers can carry on selling their books um as they did before it's all incredibly civilized isn't it? oh yeah <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's incredibly civilized world and <laughs> of course it's much like our morning editorial meetings actually <laughs> in some respects oh, if only. Can, can, I'm just one thing to be clear the the countries that you listed i mean okay I mean, what, the reasoning behind it, is there any reasoning behind it? Is it well, political? Is it about free speech? Is it something more prosaic than that? The reason they'd said, well, first of all, they didn't really give a very clear reason, which is one of the reasons which sort of spurred me and others to action. But um, I think once, uh, then once they realised that people were sort of up in arms about this, they came back and said it was because they were changing their um, uh, payments uh, procedure and that was happening, moving to a different platform by the end of the year. But, um, I mean, I think I and other people thought, well, you know, A Books is owned by Amazon. I mean, if, if they can't sort out how to, how to work out an online payments procedure, who can? Um, anyway, so we're all absolutely delighted. Well, you, you, yeah. I was just going to say, you know, t 10 years or so, we were all talking about tablets and buying books on tablets. Yes. We saw book sales declining yes. very quickly. Has that gone away again? Has have book sales gone back up? I think, actually... I mean, it's a bit like, I think Stephen Fry said, you know, years, when that all happened, you know, just because someone invents the escalator, you don't stop using stairs. I mean, and I think that's exactly the same thing with books. You know, people still buy books, like holding a physical object, mm. um, people who collect books. You know, you, you can't hand on as an heirloom a digital file that you've bought online. You know, having, having that physical thing that you can, you know, read and share and pass on, that's all, that's all part of it, I think.
No, there is a certain satisfaction in giving your children books yeah, that you've absolutely. read as a child and yeah, got absolutely. your scribbles in. It's, yeah, it's very yeah. lovely, isn't it? Yeah, of course, I'm secretly hoping you might bring a couple of old folios in. For <laughs> oh, right, okay. okay. Next, Next time. That would probably amount to some sort of bribery. <laughs> exactly. Let's not do that. Simon Beattie, really appreciate you coming in. Thank, Thank you very much, much indeed. Thank you. Let's take a look at the weather.